Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and today we've got a really exciting video to show, and that is that I'm playing Division 2 currently on the Xbox Series X, the brand new console that just came out this week alongside the PlayStation 5. And so today, we're going to go through and see what kind of differences we can notice on Division 2 compared to, you know, previous generation gameplay. Obviously, the devs have said that there's no apparent graphical improvements, there's not going to be a frame rate increase or really any uh, graphical improvements. I mean, we already had 4K, I guess, with the Xbox uh, One X version, so that's gonna stay the same, but there are no frame rate limits. But the one thing that should be pretty noticeable is that the new consoles have brand new SSD drives, which basically means that loading times across the board are increased significantly for every type of title, regardless of what the developers have done to improve it. So I will say that I've already logged in just to make sure everything was good. It did reset some of my settings, which is annoying, but I have seen some of this stuff, and I think you guys are going to like it quite a bit. So I'm at the title screen here. So let's see, once I hit A to, uh, to start it, how quick it takes for us to get to the character selection screen. Here we go. Press A, and then it's going to load through, and pretty much right away, we go straight through, and we're in. That was really quick. So now I'm going to hit continue to load into the game. And let's see, usually this would take, I don't know, a good at least 45 seconds on my 1X, I want to say. And almost right away, we're in already. That's just crazy. So I'm here in the summit. Um, you can see when I move around, it's still 30 FPS. But I will say from the limited amount of time that I played um, last night, which is when I got this set up, that the frame, even though the frame rate isn't increased, it does seem more smooth and consistent. Like, I know sometimes when I'd play PvP, it would drop down, especially when there were a lot of people and there was a lot of effects and stuff going on on screen. But it stayed a very consistent 30 the entire time that I've been playing so far. I only got to try open world stuff. We'll check out the DZ in just a minute. But it does seem much more consistent, which makes sense. It would make sense that given the powers of these new consoles that it's able to maintain pretty much 30 all over, you know, all the time. So that's good. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a bummer. It's not 60 FPS, but again, just more hints towards Division 3 in my opinion. So... Let's now see, I'm in an instanced thing here. Let's hit return to New York City and see how quickly that takes. So we hit that and it's going through the wheel. Usually you'd get stuck at 9% no matter where you go, but it pushes past that right away and we're already back in Haven. That is insanely fast. Now this is the one that I found even the most striking was the loading time between New York City and DC. I did it yesterday, it's really fast. So. I did it the other way yesterday, now let's go back. So I'm gonna hit go to Washington DC. Let's just say I wanna go to the White House and let's see how fast that is. It pulls up this loading screen and just like the other ones, it's gonna zoom right through it and put us right back at the White House. And that's crazy. That is much faster. If you play on an Xbox One or a PS4, you're gonna know that that's a lot faster than what it was used to be able to achieve. So that's pretty awesome. Now, um, one of the major things that I definitely wanted to try out was respawning in the Dark Zone. Because if you're in the middle of a manhunt, in the middle of a PvP battle, you know how crucial it is for you to be able to respawn quickly and to be able to, you know, get back in the fight. So let's go over here. Obviously, I'm not anticipating on fighting any players, but... And also, you can see this fast traveling super quick. It's probably going to re-instance us here, but... Um, I probably won't Access find any players ready. immediately to fight, but what I'll do is I'll just go and get killed by an ad and respawn at the closest um, checkpoint and see see how quick that is. I'm getting all these annoying hints on the side because it thinks I've never played the game before, but I'll cut back when I'm at some ads and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm getting ambushed right here. I'm gonna throw my revive five over there so it doesn't get me. And go ahead, fellas, take me down. And I think this is just gonna change the game, honestly. I don't wanna say it's unfair to play cross-gen now in, in the DZ, but you're definitely gonna notice a difference with respawning and how quick that takes. So we're here about, I don't know, a little bit down the block from the checkpoint. Let's see if I click on alpha, how quickly I can load back into that. You can see very fast and we're already back out the door. That is really quick. If you've played the Dark Zone, if you played this game on last gen, you know that that's an insane difference between what it used to be able to do. So that's really awesome. One other thing that I wanted to show everyone was kind of the, kind of the longest point of fast travel you can do. I mean, you already saw from the White House to here, that was a really quick fast travel, but let's try and do just a very long range one and see what kind of times we're getting. So I'm over here in DZ East. Let's just go to the gate at DZ West and see how quick that is. What's the dis distance there? Almost four kilometers. So I don't know if that really impacts fast traveling across the board, but you can see already we're in. Just like everything else, insanely fast, and it's just gonna make the game that much more enjoyable to play when you don't have to sit through those annoying loading screens and fast travel times. 
Um, should we do one last thing? What do we want to do here? Maybe let's go, instead of to New York City, let's go to one of these instanced things. Can I load up? Let's just go to Camp White Oak. So this is by itself. It's in the helicopter. The one thing I will note, and this comes up in the fast traveling too, is that the this one specifically has that helicopter noise in the background that you like hear as you're starting it up and you go there. And I think that actually takes more time than it would to load it. You know what I mean? Like the loading screen animation <laughs> takes longer than the actual loading time itself. But you can see we're already in, and that would have taken a lot longer on the previous generation. That happened too um, with the initial startup, because when you when I first selected the game, before you get to the title screen, it's like the um, what is that? The warning about flashing images and the Snowdrop engine uh, logo. Those take longer than it actually did to load up the thing. I could tell that it was like ready to go and it was just hindered by that. So as games come out, I think they're going to more and more, you know, tune them to not be hindered by loading screen animations. But yeah, it's really fast. And it just shows that the new console is specifically the Series X because that's what I'm playing on. It's super impressive and I've been loving it. So I think if you guys play Division 2, it's definitely worth upgrading if you, you know, play games overall. You're going to experience, obviously, better graphical improvements on other titles. But specifically for Division 2, you're going to notice those loading times, you know, just benefit you so much. And it makes it a lot more enjoyable. And, like I said, the frame rates are a bit more consistent, even though it's capped at 30. I think you're just going to have a smoother experience overall. So that is my review, guys. It's a lot of fun. And, yeah, if you're considering getting it, um, you know, just for gaming in general, I, of course, highly recommend it. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know down in the comments if you have upgraded to the next generation of consoles, either the Series X or the PS5, what your experiences have been with them so far. And, yeah, if you even are considering doing it. If you have any questions about uh, certain, you know, performance things on certain aspects of the game, let me know down in the comments below. I will certainly try my best to test things out and answer them for you guys. But yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You're going to have a better experience overall. And so, yeah, it's pretty nice. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.